So let us see the very next problem. So next problem says that is example number two. Evaluate integration from zero to six one upon one plus x square dx by taking six intervals. So again the value of n that is the number of interval is six. So we adopt Newton's one third rule. Okay, if here f of x is this. What is the lower limit? Zero. Upper limit is six. So let us find out the interval of difference in h is equal to six minus zero by n is six. So this comes out to be one. Okay. So we have here how many intervals? Six intervals. Okay. So we start with zero. For zero, I will get one. Then one, two, three, four, five, and we have one more value. Okay, that's six. Okay, now substitute these values over here. One upon one square, that's one by two. One upon one plus two square, that's five. One upon one plus three square, ten. One by seventeen, twenty-five plus one, twenty-six, and this is one by thirty-seven. After this table, you can just name, do the naming y zero, y one, y two, y three, y four, y five, and y six. Okay, so these are the values of y zero, y one, y two up to y six. Now use Simpson's one third rule for this data. So it would be, it would be h by three. It would be h by three y zero plus y six it is four times values of y with odd suffixes that is one three and five y one y three y five plus two times the value of y with even suffixes that is y two and y four. Okay, now you have all these values. Let us substitute it. H is one, so this is one by three. What is y zero? Y zero is one plus what is y six? One by thirty seven plus four times what is y one? Y one is one by two. Then y three is one by ten plus one by twenty six plus two times y two one by five. Plus y four one by seventeen. Okay, one by five one by seventeen. Now do all these calculations. You would get one point three six six two. So answer of this comes out to be one point three double six two. So this is nothing but the value of this inter integral. With the help of Simpson's one-third rule, in the very upcoming video, I am going to solve the same problem with the help of Simpson's three-eighth rule, and that is the topic that we are going to learn in the very next learning video. So, the topic of next learning video is Simpson's three-eighth rule, and this is what we have here in this. If you have any doubt or queries, you can write in the comment section. Till then. Thank you for watching and enjoy learning mathematics.